Good morning, everyone. So today I have uh, the new Spellbinders July 2021 kit, Damask Daydreams. Um, gorgeous kit. I rated the unboxing. Um, just is super pretty, soft, and also vibrant at the same time. Um, so I'll go through it again real quickly because we're going to uh, use it to make some cards. But um, the unboxing is in a separate video, and I will put the link in the description box for you guys. So these items were sent free of charge from my review from Spellbinders, and of course all opinions are my own. And the links I'll have in the description box for the, um, for the club kits and any other items that I have there um, are normally... Affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. I know a lot of you guys just fell in love with the large die. It is an awesome set this month. The little open house set with the APG. I mean, the stamp set that goes back to all of it. It's all really, really great this month. Um, I'll get my small die and my glimmer later in the month because I am signed up for those. But these are the samples that I get from Spellwinder, so I get them a little ahead of time. Um, so what I'm going to do is probably today is... Um, I kind of want to play around with making a quick card, but I also want to go ahead and do this one for you guys because um, the way they explain it on the back is something I've done before, but a little bit different. I usually use dimensional adhesive here to get these little pieces stuck down if you want to d have dimension. We'll talk about that in a minute. If you're just sticking this die cut down to your paper, then that doesn't matter. You would just fill in your pieces if you want or don't. You know, you people just use them as outlines or you can paper piece back in however you want to do it. But today I think I'll do the paper piecing um, just to show you how to do that with the double-sided tape that's in the kit. So that's the instruction there. I did show you guys the, um, like I said, in the unboxing all the dies. So we're going to be using this one today for sure. And then we have um, some that cut from the stamp set, like this guy here. We'll cut this guy out. I believe the word hello also can be cut out. And then we have some accent pieces that go back to however you want to use them, but to this little spray here. We have the little leaves, little sprig here, and we have like the little flower. Um, so you can do some fun things with those. And of course, just beautiful die cuts. I did already use some of the kit in the large die um, video. I did the unboxing. I used some of these items. Just beautiful. I mean, look at everything that's in here. Just gorgeous. Um, we talked about the butterflies, the dimensional stickers. Oh, these guys! Should use some of these last time. I love stuff like this. So we have these big gemstones. Um, we have these um, like chipboard stickers. These glittery chipboard type stickers. Or maybe these are foamy. I can't tell. Eh, they feel a little thick, like chipboard. Always has ten card bases, ten envelopes. We have our dimensional adhesive, our um, liner adhesive, which I will use today. Um, I did use some of this paper, so it's already cut into <laughs> in my last project, um, but very pretty. Wait, did I use this paper in the last project? I thought I did, but now... No, I just used the other parts, right? And then um, the beautiful coordinating papers. And this really nice color palette. Of course, that gold... Just lovely. So I'm going to grab some different pieces and um, we'll get started. I'm going to make a card very much like what's on the inspiration sheet. I guess I should have grabbed that. So I picked these colors. Um, the white is basically just for the little frame. How pretty would that be and cut out in the gold, however you like. Um, and then we're going to do all these things. Um, they did use the purple. There are three different shades of purple in the kit. I went ahead and picked the deepest, deepest purple. Um, and I chose the darker green. There's a, like a minty green paper in there. Of course, you can use whatever papers you would like to pull out of anywhere else. But um, I think these obviously coordinate back to all the die cut pieces. So I went ahead and stuck with that. And then there are some um, little die cut pieces they are using here to finish it off. And that paper in the background. So we're going to make it very similar. Um, so I'm going to use this die. I'm going to run it through this one twice. So when I come back, I'll have those two cut out. And then we'll talk about this part in a second, the part that we're going to uh, paper piece with. I have a card base here. They do uh, like to do this at Spellbinders whenever I've seen their um, inspo sheets, is that they like to make the whole background of the card, you know, this way. It doesn't have, like, a frame. I usually cut mine a little bit smaller for, like, a matting. But I'm going to do this today. And they use a very soft green background, which is lovely. And I kind of want to go with this one for my card it really pops and you know sometimes it's nice to let it fade back in the background like they did um, but today I'm going to use this it's a little bit deeper and I'm going to cut it down to five and a half by four and a quarter so when I come back I'll have this card base cut down and I'll have two of these cut out and I'll be right back. I mentioned as I cut this I you know it's six by six paper but I can see in the middle it's kind of faded out where the edge is nice and strong so if I just cut it like this it might look off centered and that would be nice for the frame out right to, for that to be there so I cut a little bit off the top a little bit off the bottom 
and a little bit off on either side to make it more so that this middle section that's kind of faded out is framed up um, more in a centered way. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our base pieces cut. We're not going to stick this down yet, but we're going to go ahead and glue this down. And you know what? Let me use the liner tape. I always use the glues, but we do have our little liner tape here, so I'm just going to find the very edge of that. So I'm just going to frame this out, and I'll be right back. I'm just going to frame out this whole thing. Usually the liner tape, what I do is I give it a little burnishing, then I pick it off. That way the glue stays behind. And the only reason I'm peeling that away is just so I can get in here with this one. I got right to the edge. So if you layer one on top of the other, then you're going to glue one down, one strip down on top of the other. So remove that. And I'll just go around and I'll be right back. This piece here. And with something sticky like this, you're going to have to really get it right where you want it. So I'm going to start with this long edge. Just eyeballing that. Pretty straight there. Okay, and with these guys, we're going to get them prepped. So I'll do one but uh, on camera, but we're going to do both of them. So what we're going to do is paper piece back in here. But again, you don't have to do that. Like if you want to put this on here, that looks gorgeous too, just like that. And you would square it up if you want to make the little frame. Or you can just use one little piece like this and have some other fun things. Or if you have a larger card and you want to put that up in the corner or something behind a picture. I mean, there's lots of ways to use this. But I'm going to work on one of them. And basically what I'm going to do is just lay down little strips of the glue and I'm going to tear it with my finger. I'm kind of holding it in that corner and tearing it off but if you want to cut it with scissors that's up to you. You're kind of wanting to make sure you're hitting pretty much every spot so at least like you know I'm trying to think about this strategically maybe this way just so we have a few pieces. I'm kind of touching the edge of that and tearing it back Hopefully you can kind of imagine what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Just uh, holding the edge so then you don't see it. Actually, when you peel this off, it's clear glue anyway, so you're not going to clear adhesive. Um, like here, maybe I'm going to go this way and get some of this guy. Actually, you know what? Let me peel this other part away. So I'm doing this strategically, so I'm hitting certain areas every time. Just going to try to stick that down. Okay. Like this time I'll take it from here in this direction and it'll hit quite a few different areas there. I'm just putting my fingernail like where the die cut ends to help me out. And then like this one I'll probably just go this way and that should hit all those pieces pretty well. So I've covered pretty much all those areas. And if you're going to fill in these little guys, um, definitely do that too. I think for mine, I'm just going to do the larger piece. So I'm not going to do these guys. I'm just going to do the flowers and the leaves there. So I just have another little area to finish up here. It goes this way. Lift that down and pull this back out this way. Okay, and then just have a little area right here. And then what I'm going to do is... Put some tape right there. There. So somebody had asked me about this, like, well, how do you do that? So I'm just showing you right quick how you do that. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to leave those pieces, the carrier pieces, on there. I'll do the same for the second one, but for right now, what I'm going to do is put this to the side. And I'm going to run this through with my die again. So if you really look at the die, or if you look at the piece here, we really only need, like, green right here. So what I would do is just take the smallest little piece of green paper, because I don't want to waste paper. Like this little piece. I'm going to run it through twice, but I'll take this little piece and place it right where those leaves are and run it through. So now I have this little green section. And then for the purple, really I just need it to be in this area, so I'd probably cut a strip of paper that's about that size, like here, and run that through. And I leave them in whatever die cutting machine carrier that, um, that I can, that way I keep all my pieces together. But I'm going to run that through and I'll be right back. There's also this little purple dot right here, or this little dot. So if you want that to be cut purple or whatever, just make sure that's also in your... I'll probably do this like this. Okay, I'll be right back. So I took the backings off of everything. I'm going to place it here. Now this, um, I'll put it on some kind of surface that's not too sticky. 
because we are going to want to remove this or even sticker carrier or a silicone mat or whatever but I'm not going to push down too hard but I just want to make it so it's easy to pick up later so I have my green pieces here I'm just going to use a little tacky tool you can use a tweezer whatever it is that you like and I'm just going to pop these in so basically you're just sticking these to the double sided adhesive that you placed and what's interesting about this too is that I mean I guess you could do this up here but I don't want to I'm going to place it down and that'll help you do and all I have that. My other little pieces and here, and again, I just like to kind of look and see. Like this one comes from here. We need this piece, possibly that little guy right there. And I just kind of keep it together and see what it is that I need, and then I'll pop it in. So it's gonna take a few minutes. I'm just gonna go through and pop in all the pieces that I need, which is basically these guys. I need that little piece there and then I'll do this pedal and all around here and I'll be right back. Guys, as I'm working with this, <laughs> I'm so silly. Like I said, this is not my trick. This is a Spellbinders trick. Um, don't take the backing off because there's no point in having to do that. I mean, I was kind of not really being super careful with where I was ripping them off, but I did put them back on and actually that makes it so it doesn't stick on the back, but you have the stickiness on the top. So you can definitely leave the backing on there. You just have to be a little more careful where you place it because it's white, right? So you're going to see it if it's sticking out the edge. And you can just bring in your scissors and trim that piece off. But what I did also works. It's just, you know, an extra step when you really just can just leave the backing on. And then it's not sticky on the back at all until you want it to be sticky, right? You put your dimensional adhesives. So just wanted to note that because um, it might be easier for you that way. Okay, I'll keep working and I'll be back. Okay. So, you know, as I work, I like to do things a little bit differently. So I, I think I'm going to be done with this. I'm going to use this kind of more like a shadow in the background. But um, what we're going to do is put these guys together. And then I'll pop in the little purple piece. I need one more little purple piece for that. But what I'm going to do is just put some glue. You don't have to do this if you don't want. But I think it looks nice. But yeah, definitely don't take the backing off. It's just easier. It just takes that one step. So I learned something today, too. Like I said, I've done this before with the dimensional adhesive in the background to hold your pieces up. Um, but if you're just going to keep it flat anyway, I would just glue this outline piece to your paper and then just pop in your pieces. Obviously, you can just glue it right to the paper. But this, once we're going to do some dimension, we have to do something a little bit different. And then I'll put a little glue on the back of this guy and glue it down here. Okay? And I'll be back. And this one had a little glue that was still a little bit wet, so I'm just going to add a little glue here and pop in my little purple square. I'm going to let that set up. I'm going to choose some die cuts that we can pop in here and we'll finish up this card. Okay, so mine's going to be a little bit different than what was on there. I think I'm going to do something like this, but I need to pop this guy up first. So um, what's really nice is that I'm going to add some other embellishment pieces. So what I'm going to do is just take some of these pieces. We do have to be a little bit strategic um, how we set up some of the other pieces. Like this one can go right in the center there because I'm actually going to put a dimensional in there anyway or um, a gem. So I'm just going to place this here and there. Help me stick down my card. Uh, again, around the back of that one. And other pieces, I might have to trim them down just to make sure it's out of the way. Hey, not bad. It just sticks out just a little bit there. So I'm going to place some other pieces here and there behind this in this little square area. But for that, I'm going to just take a little piece and cut it down. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm just going to find strategic areas that I can place this dimensional. And I'll be right back. Okay. So I just put them here and there, wherever I thought they might be hidden. And you can even orient your card, you know, this way, if you like it in this direction. This is going to go pretty much in the center anyway, and then you can just decide <laughs> what you want to do with it. But I'm going to put it right here. Just kind of looking left to right. You know, how much is up at the top, how much is down here at the bottom. And this dimensional is has a really nice thickness to it. You can see there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pull out some die cut pieces. I had just looked at that. I kind of wanted to tuck this in here, I think. Then we're going to add little gems and stuff. So I'm just going to go through these guys. I mean, there's Love and Laughter. We got your Ooh, story today. We have the little balloons, which is super cute. I mean, we can tuck stuff in here and there. So I'm just going to go through this and see what all else I would like to 
A Precious Life. Oh, that's pretty. Shine Today. You've got Style. You've got Grace. Oh, those are cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to look through and pick out some other die cuts I would like to use. So kind of play around with these, and I keep going back to this one. It's your day to shine, but it's a little bit too long to go in here. I mean, well, you well, you know what? That's okay right there. I was going to say it might be a little too long. I was going to cut it right here. It's your day and then to shine. So you can definitely do something like that. But you know what? I think it'll go right here and that'll be just fine. So I'm just going to use a wet glue. But again, you can use a double-sided adhesive. So cute. And this little guy, I'm just going to put some glue like here and here. Hmm. I wanted to tuck it in. Use a little glue there. And I was completely eyeballing that, so let me take a little bit of that glue off. Put it right in there. Okay, I'm going to hold that down just to keep this in place over here. And I'll pull out the gems in the meantime. Oh, and we'll glue this little guy down. I'm just going to glue it down flat, so I'll just stick that one down, too. Okay. We're pretty. And to finish this one off, I'm just going to use some of these little guys. I'm just going to eyeball, I think, the smaller size ones will work well. You know what? I'll put that one there, since that one has that. And then we'll go with a little bit bigger one for this one. That'll be pretty. And you can place them all over the place if you'd like to, but so cute. Love that. And then I cut um, another piece of the paper down just really quickly to make a nice quick die cut card. And that's all it is. So we have this. I did cut the paper a little bit smaller because, um, you know, I like my little frame there. And so this one is uh, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I like that eighth inch. If you don't like that, then do four by five and a quarter. And if you're a little bit newer crafter, maybe it's better for you to use a wet glue because once you place down your mat, um, you still have a little bit of time to kind of play with it. <laughs> kind of move it around if you need to. And then I just picked out some die cuts and I thought these would look really nice kind of layered up with each other. And then I picked another little sentiment here. And just, I, you know, I had them out so I was just kind of playing with them. And then I thought maybe it needs a little bit more so I don't know if I'm going to put that maybe there. But either way, this guy's going to go in the center popped up. So what I'm going to do is stick that down because then that will kind of help me dictate where I need to put my little flowers. And I really just want it towards the center because I don't know exactly where I'm going to put my flowers yet. So I'm just going to use these two. Kind of have an idea of where I want to put this guy. Like right in here. And of course, we want it to be straight, as straight as we can get it. I'll glue that one there. And this guy on, on this side. But again, I also want to use this. And I don't know if I want it to be in front or behind the flower. And I'm going to want to be behind the flower, I think. Like right there-ish. So what I'm going to do is put a little glue on the top of the flower area just so I know where I'm trying to put that. Super quick and easy. I mean, other than making your selections, this is a very quick little card. And we have two of these. I mean, I could put another one on this side if I wanted to, but I just kind of wanted to put something there. And then this little guy. And I'm just going to glue it down straight. And it just says love and laughter. I'm going to put it right to the edge. Why not? So it's touching the very edge of the card, but you can put it within the um, matted layer that we made. Let me see if I'm at all straight here. <laughs> and then with this little guy too, we can go over and just add some little do-do-do here and there, wherever you think they might go. I usually like to put them in a kind of interesting way, and I'm just going to use the smaller ones. Just kind of fun here and there. Just 
just thought I added something. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you so much, Spellbinders, for sending these eyes from our review. Hopefully, I give you some ideas to use the die cuts there and then your die that comes with uh, the card kit this month. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.